Hey, so it's 1001 albums you must hear before you die. Um, I had like six sessions to record today, and uh, I started counting them off and putting them in the computer, and I don't know why I counted them off, because whenever I changed the names, um, they started changing their order, so, I don't know, forgive me, I'm tired. Working with 40 first graders will do that to you. So, um, and this time around, I'm going to be talking about Layla and Other Assorted Love Songs by Derek and the Dominoes. I've had this since 95. If you can look, the price tag is still on there. And, of course, you know, you got the date, December 29th, 1995. And Goodwill was the elements for 49 cents. And I got it during the 50% off sale. I don't know if they have them anymore. Because it's probably the last time I went to a 50% off sale. I got it for a quarter. And uh, I was actually working there during Christmas break. So I probably got an employee discount too. Um, good album for a quarter. I love, my favorite song off of this is Bell Bottom Blues. And, um, I don't know exactly when I discovered it, but, you know, this is probably one song that I would listen to over and over and over and over and over again. And I really liked Layla, too. And then I saw Goodfellas. And, um, I don't know if you've seen that one before. Maybe you're a little bit younger and you haven't seen it. And the really cool guitar solo part of Layla is at near the end of the movie where a lot of people were having contracts taken out on them and they were showing up all over New Jersey dead. And um, now I can't ever hear this song without the hate of that part in the movie. And uh, not something I like to think about very often. And sometimes I'll let it through. I'll let it play all the way through and it won't bother me. And then there's some times that I just, you know, I can't take it and I'll, I'll skip the rest of it. And, um, but this was a collaboration of Eric Clapton and Dwayne Allman. And I'll, if I remember, remember I'm really tired. Um, I'll come back to that. I actually have a kind of story about seeing Dwayne Allman's guitar in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Allman? Allman? I think it's Allman. Um, so it's really fitting that this came up in the rotation because Layla was a real person. Her name was Patty Boyd. And at the time, Eric Clapton wrote the song for her. He was in love with her. She was married to his best friend, George Harrison, from the Beatles. And this, there's a couple of songs. I was playing it, and I was working on some things, and I was hearing, you know, I picked up on something that I had never heard before. And, I mean, there was a line that straight up, I'm in love with my best friend's wife. This uh, came out in November of 1970, and if I read correctly, they didn't break up until 74. And, um, but yeah, Patty Boyd actually did divorce George Harrison and married Eric Clapton, and they were married for 10 years. And, and I said it was fitting because she actually wrote a book about the experience, and it came out very recently. If it hasn't, it's coming out soon. And, um, but yeah, I like it. It's okay. Um, since I have the disc, if I find it on vinyl, I'll pick it up. But it's not on my, on my bucket list right now. Um, oh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So my husband is from Ohio and me loving rock and roll the way that I do probably going to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was probably my mecca. And when I went, they were celebrating the 50th anniversary of rock and roll. And they, in the hall, had this really neat display. And uh, things were set up by decades. And so it was like, you know, you would kind of try and travel. And um, in the 50s, you would see some of um, 
gosh, I can't remember. I'm just remembering seeing Joan Jett's outfit off of one of her albums. And, um, but then, um, uh, there was a lot of guitars that were set up in the 70s area. And one of the guitars that was in the display was Dwayne album, Dwayne Allman guitar that he recorded Layla with. And I got so excited and I started putting my hands all over the place. And what I really didn't, I didn't realize I was setting off the sensors. You know, they had this rail and I wasn't crossing the rail, but I was like, look, 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 look. And, you know, we step back. You are too close to the display. And it took me a second to be like, oh, they're talking about me. <laughs> um, but I did it again somewhere else. Uh, they had a ZZ Top display. And I've heard that Billy Gibbons graduated from my high school. And if he didn't graduate, the band played at my high school um, in their really, really early days. And uh, uh, yeah, I got a little excited and set the alarms off again. I'm, I'm bad. Anyway, <laughs> I probably a lot. And I ruined probably some people's visits because um, I like to sing, but I really can't sing. And I sang everything, and it was probably bad. Really bad. So, that's Layla. And, um, I'll have my Elvis ones coming up, and then I'll be done catching up. And, uh, I've made mention in a previous video that my schedule, the way I set it up, this was going to take me 10 years to finish. And since stuff is going so quickly now that maybe it won't take so long. So, uh, until next time.